By all accounts and all signs and all reading the tea leaves, this does appear to be the last dance for the Vikings and quarterback Kirk Wedrow and Ezekiel Cousins. Uh, Quasey and Kevin O'Connell, they've been hedging their comments about the future of Kirk. We're really looking forward to Kirk this year. Awesome. Good time stuff. And even though, yes, Kirk is a dork and a dad and all that stuff, uh, <laughs> Tim Pot Pizza Ranch Dictator, yes. Looking good, though. Looking pretty damn good. Uh, but, yes, the whole you bike that. Just sucking up a lot, a lot of uh, dollars and all that stuff. But overall, Kirk Cousins, like he balled out last year, man. You got to respect it. You got the 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 victory chain, the, vic- the victory ice. Kirk Cousins going from uh, Cole's cash all the way up to swagged out. That's right, man. That's right. And of course, the comeback. Now, should you have been down thirty three nothing at halftime against a three nine and one Colts team coached by Jeff Saturday? No. But whatever. And Kirk Cousins, even though under massive duress, career high pressures, career high sacks, still got the damn thing done. And he was phenomenal. Like you have to even the even the the the, the hardiest Kirk Cousins haters have to give Kirk Cousins respect. And by the way, he played fantastic in the playoff game. Uh, sorry that uh, Daniel Jones uh, and, and sorry that Kirk Cousins gave up all those points and all those yards to Daniel Jones. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. But uh, 79.3 PFF grade, 31 touchdowns. Eight fourth quarter uh, game winning drives tied for most in NFL history, and yes, he was pressured. He was sacked. Thirteen wins, QB wins. Like everyone, when he was closer to five hundred, everyone liked to rag on Kirk Cousins about his quarterback record. But all of a sudden, since he's bumped up, everyone shut up about it. It's weird. It's weird. It happens, man. And also, he won his first division title here with the Vikings. I understand baby steps, but. Yeah, getting something done. And Kirk, they they revised his contract, so he's still making thirty million bucks this year. Uh, they're taking a dead cap hit next year, uh, adding some void years, and they freed up some cap space. But they e- even owner Mark Wilf, uh, they they've really been hedging their bets in terms of talking about the future of Kirk Cousins. And I think that this is going to be it for Kirk. I think that he's going to hit free agency, and the Vikings are a hundred percent going to get the best, the best, the best, the best of Kirk Cousins this year. That's right, man. I, I originally was going to do uh, put Kirk Cousins' head on Prince for the Super Bowl halftime show because they because uh, he covered uh, the Foo Fighters' "Best of You" song, but that felt blasphemous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but reasons why Kirk will, will ball out in twenty twenty three. Number one, play caller continuity. So a lot, a lot. Kirk gets a lot of crap, right? But he hasn't had the same play caller since Sean McVay. 2015-2016. So 2017, uh, McVay took the Rams job, and then Jay Gruden was calling the plays. And then he signed in Minnesota. JDF, remember him, didn't even make the full season. Stefanski parlayed that into the Browns job. Old Kubiak came back for a, a hot second. Young Kubiak, not so much. So this is for ta- first time in eight years. Kirk Cousins has the same play caller, and Kevin O'Connell and Kirk can grow and show together this year even more. Uh, and also, this is the first time, first off season that he's not learning a brand new offense. So that he's not learning brand new terminology. So it's pretty fantastic for him. And then uh, playmakers. So yeah, you, you got Justin Friggin Jefferson, uh, who's easily the best wide receiver in the game. And yeah, I could say, sure, you lost Thielen. Okay. Vikings could certainly draft a wide receiver. KJ, I, I think, could step up nicely as a wide receiver, too, given opportunity. Same thing with Jalen Rager. Uh, Jalen Naylor is a person. TJ Hawkinson. Remember, TJ, the numbers that he put up last year, which in most statistical categories were only second to Travis Kelsey uh, from Week 9 to Week 18, he he came in midseason. So imagine how good TJ Hawkinson is going to be with Kirk Cousins with a full offseason. Full OTAs, full mini camp, full training camp, full preseason, go. It's going to be fantastic. Also, Josh Oliver in the mix. He's an underrated receiver. He's greatly going to help in the blocking, and that's what we're going to talk about here next. Or, ooh, best of you. Mm. Uh, But improved offensive line. So now, they haven't done much. They resigned Bradbury, sure. Uh, But Ed Ingram, he improved down the stretch last year. Hopefully, he can parlay that into a better year, too. Ezra, I mean, hopefully Ezra can step up year four. All Ezras are disappointing. Mm. Uh, and and then uh, Darrison and O'Neal um, knocking on all the wood, banking on health for both of them, but also adding Josh Oliver to that mix. He's basically a six offensive lineman, both in the running game as well as in pass protection too. And also, yeah, you're bre- keeping CJ Ham in the mix, you're keeping Madison in the mix. TBD, what happens with Dalvin? All three of those guys are fantastic in pass protection as well. So you're going to be protecting Kirk a lot more this year, which would be great, uh, especially out of 12 personnel. So maybe even some more max protect. Uh, reemphasis 
emphasis on running the ball. It's clear that's what Kevin O'Connell wants to do. They want to get heavy and also more play action. Kirk is still one of the best play action quarterbacks in the game. Plus, the defense ain't going to be Garbaggio this year. Well, the, at least they'll be aggressive and opportunistic as opposed to just sit, sitting back and letting life happen to them, man. Also, don't discount that Kirk's in a contract year. I mean, Kirk's a prideful guy, and he's out of contract. And, of course, he won't say it, but he'll put a chip on his shoulder. He's like, okay. You, you know what? I'm the 11th highest paid quarterback in the league right now. I deserve to be higher. I played like you know a top six, seven guy last year, but it's okay. I'm going to get paid whether here or somewhere else. So I'm just going to ball out and then just completely prove all the haters and the losers wrong. I actually hope he does. And guess what? You know, Kirk, even if they add a quarterback uh, uh, to the root, to the rooster, I, I think Kirk will, will take that well, uh, first off, I think that he'll be cool with the, the rookie. I think he'll teach him uh, and mentor him and all that stuff. But also, I think he'll put that in the back of his mind. like, hmm, this kid is coming in to take my job. Uh, I ain't going to have that. So, Kirk Cousins, 100%, is going to have a monster season 2023. He'll build on 2022, which, in my opinion, uh, was the best season of his career. And him and Kevin O'Connell are, are going to do the damn thing. So, I think you're going to see more of this. I think you're going to see a lot more of this, but hopefully not being down 33 nothing to the Colts. But also, you're going to see a lot more of this. Woo, woo. That's right. I, I, I think the Vikings are fully set up to have the best, the best, the best out of Kirk Cousins in 2023. But your thoughts are thoughts. Why Kirk is going to be good this year. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.